The James Webb Space Telescope has opened a new frontier in our exploration of the universe, revealing cosmic phenomena in ways never before imagined. Its advanced capabilities have allowed scientists to observe shocking events and stunning discoveries that challenge our very understanding of the cosmos. Recently, this revolutionary telescope made one of its most astonishing findings yet, detecting over 700 galaxies seemingly trapped within a black hole. Among these galaxies is Stefan's Quintet, a well-known group of five interacting galaxies. This discovery not only pushes the boundaries of what we thought we knew about black holes but also deepens our understanding of the structure and behavior of the universe itself. What makes the James Webb Space Telescope such a powerful tool is its ability to detect the faint chemical signatures of elements like water vapor in distant celestial objects. Unlike previous telescopes, which primarily observed visible light, the James Webb Space Telescope was designed to detect light in the infrared spectrum. Infrared light, with its longer wavelengths, can penetrate dust clouds and reveal objects that are otherwise invisible to the naked eye. Equipped with an array of cutting-edge instruments, the telescope can peer into the farthest reaches of space, allowing us to glimpse the universe as it was billions of years ago. The telescope's primary mirror, measuring over 6.5 meters in diameter, dwarfs the size of its predecessors, including the famous Hubble Space Telescope. This massive mirror allows the telescope to collect and focus more light than ever before, giving us a clearer and more detailed view of distant galaxies, nebulae, and other cosmic structures. These instruments work together to capture high-resolution images, measure the light spectra emitted by objects, and study their properties in unprecedented detail. Through these capabilities, we are able to witness the birth of stars, the collision of galaxies, and the behavior of black holes, all from the comfort of Earth. One of the most mysterious and awe-inspiring objects in the universe is the black hole. Formed from the gravitational collapse of massive stars, black holes are regions of space where gravity is so intense that nothing, not even light, can escape. When a star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it undergoes a catastrophic explosion known as a supernova, ejecting its outer layers into space while leaving behind a dense core. If the mass of this core exceeds a certain threshold, roughly three times the mass of the Sun, it collapses into a black hole, a point of infinite density in gravity known as a singularity. Traditionally, black holes are thought to be regions of no return. Anything that crosses their event horizon, the boundary beyond which escape is impossible, is believed to be lost forever. Light, matter, and even time itself behave differently near a black hole. The immense gravitational pull warps space-time, creating a region where time slows down relative to observers far from the black hole. This phenomenon, known as time dilation, was predicted by Einstein's theory of general relativity, and has since been confirmed by numerous observations. But the discovery of over 700 galaxies seemingly trapped within a black hole challenges our conventional understanding of these cosmic entities. A black hole, by definition, should not allow anything to escape, let alone permit the existence of entire galaxies within its gravitational grip. This discovery raises profound questions about the nature of black holes and the limits of our knowledge. How could so many galaxies exist in such close proximity to a black hole's event horizon? Could it be that the gravitational pull of the black hole is strong enough to warp spacetime in ways we haven't yet imagined? 
Or perhaps these galaxies are remnants from an earlier time in the universe, pulled into the black hole over billions of years. Gravitational lensing provides a possible explanation for this strange phenomenon. Gravitational lensing occurs when light from a distant object is bent as it passes near a massive body, such as a black hole. The black hole's immense gravity distorts the light, creating a magnified or warped image of the object behind it. This effect, predicted by general relativity, has been observed in numerous instances, allowing astronomers to study objects that would otherwise be too faint or distant to detect. In the case of the 700 galaxies, it's possible that their light is being bent and magnified by the black hole, giving us a view of objects that exist outside the black hole's event horizon that appear to be trapped within. The idea of gravitational lensing leads us to another mind-bending possibility, the existence of white holes. White holes are theoretical constructs predicted by the same equations that describe black holes, but with one key difference, while black holes trap matter and energy, white holes expel them. Nothing can enter a white hole, and anything that emerges from it cannot return. Some scientists have speculated that black holes and white holes might be connected through a tunnel-like structure called a wormhole. In this scenario, matter that falls into a black hole in one region of the universe could emerge from a white hole in another, possibly even in a completely different universe. This idea ties into the larger concept of the multiverse, the theory that our universe is just one of many, each with its own physical laws, constants, and conditions. According to this theory, black holes could serve as gateways between different universes, or between different regions of the same universe. The detection of 700 galaxies near a black hole raises the tantalizing possibility that, that we are seeing evidence of such a cosmic connection. Could these galaxies have been pulled into the black hole from another universe, or could they be emerging from a white hole in our own universe? The implications of this discovery are profound. If black holes are indeed connected to other regions of spacetime, it could change the way we think about the universe and our place within it. The idea that black holes are not simply destructive forces but are instead part of a larger cosmic structure opens up new possibilities for understanding the origins and fate of the universe. And if white holes do exist, they could provide a glimpse into parts of the universe that we have never been able to observe. As the James Webb Space Telescope continues its mission, we can expect more groundbreaking discoveries that challenge our understanding of the cosmos. Its ability to peer into the farthest reaches of space, detect faint chemical signatures, and observe objects across a wide range of wavelengths makes it an invaluable tool in the quest 